Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Rant and Share. Smoking what passes for a lucky strike until payday. Sorting out the world's problems just before getting mom ready for bed. Uh, this is not my normal purview. I don't talk about the preparedness thing like I do, but I don't. Like, I talk about it when it applies to me and might help you, okay? So, being said, this disclaimer. Anyone new here? You're listening to a guy, a uh, very large, bald, porno mustache, tattoos everywhere, former criminal, with a rooster tattooed on his weenie, okay? Uh, Middle-aged, divorced a few times, and uh, one hell of a drinking problem, all right? Let's get that out of the way. So take this advice, a grain of salt. So you're new to being prepared. Where to start? Well, I tell people this, and I'm sure I've made this video once or twice before. Fucking, I, I've got like 2,000 videos out. But here we go. I tell people. It's like going camping for a week. What do you need to go camping for a week, right? You need three hots and a cot, right? You need water. God damn, I'd just like one of these fucking things to burn right without me trying to set my face on fire. Ah. Anyway. So. Yeah, sidetracked. The train derailed. It's me and Wolfang. Fellow content collaborator were chatting back and forth. Rantus interrupt us, just not my night. Anyway, so, back to where we were. You're going, I'm new to being prepared, what do I do? Okay, here's the deal. Buy what you like to eat, right? You like to eat ramen out the packet? Okay, do you have a flavor you like? Pick up a case of ramens, right? Cheap, easy, doesn't take a whole lot of water, okay? We'll get to the water thing here in a minute. You like soup, right? You like Campbell's soup? Do you like chunky soup? Do you like cream soup? We don't know, right? Are you a vegetarian? These are things you need to plan for. You get about three cans of soup a day, some crackers to go in it, right, because you don't want plain. You know, some snacks like peanut butter crackers, beef jerky, pepperoni, stuff that keeps for a while. This, this is a recurring theme here. We're doing stuff that keeps. You like canned chili. I love canned chili. I like cold SpaghettiOs out the can. Uh, they're very good. So establish what kind of canned food you buy, okay? You like beans? Buy beans. I despise dry beans, though I have a bunch. I will get to eating them. My seasonings were wiped out in a flood, you know. We lack all the luster here at the Eat My Shorts Network. <sighs> Damn thing. Leads me to another point here. Uh, when you're planning a long rant and your cigarette's halfway burned out because your phone plugged up, I always bring another one. So, here we go. Buckle up, buckaroo. So, you establish food. The idea is shelf-stable. And please don't buy that Augustin garbage unless you've tried it before and you like it. That stuff is fucking terrible. We all got roped into buying it, okay? I'm trying to save you some grief and heartache. Find the kind of food you like, stick with the kind of food you like, stuff that you eat regularly, preferably, or will eat regularly. <laughs> so the idea is to have it and not use it until you have to use it. Okay, we're getting to that. Now, this is my philosophy. Take it, leave it, don't care. All right. You have the food. The water, I tell people, one gallon per drinking per day. And one gallon per hygiene per person per day. Okay, this is important. So you need 14 gallons of water for a week. Uh, let's say 21 cans of soup, X amount of crackers to go in it, and snacks to give you enough calories. Okay, if you like beans, dry beans. If you like rice, do rice. Okay, so here we go. You have all this. Well, you need a can opener. You need... A way to cook all this stuff, I tell people U.S. surplus canteen cups and canteen because it's simple, it's easy, you're not going to lose it, right? <sighs> Fucking thing. Okay, well, you need a can opener, right? Even if they're pop tops, you still need a can opener because sometimes those little fuckers break and they're hard to open, <sighs> right? You want simple stuff that's not going to take a whole lot of effort because in case you've got to move or... In case you have a lot of things going on, you you want simple and convenient when you're first starting out. Now, if you're planning to be a homesteader and all this, this is not the fucking video for you, okay? I, I can't help you if you're going to be a homesteader and you want to go live out in the woods and do Bible things. That is totally cool. I support that. That is not my goal, okay? And you're going to find out very shortly that preparedness channels do not all think alike, Okay? Some of them are Bible crazies that live out in the woods and are planning for the end times. Some of them are like me, who's just living on a budget and trying not to starve to death. 
Some of them are going from one thing to the other thing to the next thing and whatnot. Some of them, which is more accurately like me, I am not a gun guy who's just a gun guy. I am a gun guy who's prepared. Therefore, I am not a preparedness channel. I am a gun channel that does other things. Oh, fucking knows. They're mowing the lawn today and it's driving me nuts. So, if you smoke, get enough smokes, right, for a week. If you drink, get enough booze for a week, right? Because life sober fucking sucks if, if you're not used to it, okay? You're going to need, you know, a fixed blade knife. There is no reason to go out and buy the most expensive knife in the world when you're first starting out. A Mora knife, preferably a Mora champion, because they're dirt cheap and they're indestructible and they come razor sharp. I've actually shaved my face with one before. And I, I have sensitive skin kind of that way, so, like, if it's sharp enough for me to shave with, it's sharp enough for you to carry a knife with. You know, 20 bucks online, go snatch one up, right? You're going to need a way to start a fire. And you can go as far into it or as narrow into it as you want. I don't delve into the fire starter thing because guess what? I'm a smoker. If I want a cigarette bad enough, I can set the world on fire. I, You know, I go the big lighter route. Simple, easy, effective. Don't get generic lighters. They're garbage. There, I said it. Okay, if you like matches, get matches. All right, matches work. So, we've established what? Food, water, liquor and cigarettes. Uh, you're going to need medication. If you take medication, you're going to want a week's worth of that put back. And that, that's something a lot of people don't talk about. Okay? We've established knife, right? And all the stuff that you need for dinner time, right? Basic silverware, a thing to eat out of, a way to carry water... Some people like to go the water filter route. I prefer to boil it just because I don't have the money for even a goddamn life straw right now. You know, life snuck up on me and sniped me in the ass, you know, when Dad died. And I just, I'm not there yet. Preparedness is a journey, not a destination. Okay, remember that. Now, you're going to need shelter, right? Assuming you're going to be out in the cold. It starts with good footwear, right? Clean socks. Good shoes, don't wear flip-flops, don't be that fucking asshole, please. Okay? Now, it's different if you're taking a shower in prison or if you're checking the damn mailbox. Those are flip-flops, okay? We're talking good shoes that you can walk in some distance. You're going to want climate-appropriate clothes. If it's cold, you want cold-weather clothes. If it's hot, you want hot-weather clothes. It's not rocket science, okay? Not a whole lot, just enough, like I said, that you can wear them for a few days. You're going to be doing this for a week. We're just keeping this simple for a week. Okay. The important thing you have to ask yourself next is a natural disaster. Are you going to shelter in place, or are you going to scurry off and to go wherever, to an exfiltration point at some point? Because that affects what you're going to need. If you're going to stay in place, don't worry about the backpack. Okay. If you are, you're going to need the backpack, because you ain't leaving your shit behind. This is the most important thing. This is what my channel is all about, the firearms and the freedom. You need at least one handgun. Doesn't have to be the world's best handgun. Doesn't have to be the most expensive. Okay. A spare magazine, plus the one that goes in it. Yeah, it's me and my friend Wolf Fang chiming in here. So, if you do that, right? Let's say you get a Taurus G2C 9mm. Cheapest handgun on the market. Extra magazine comes with it. 50 rounds of good ammunition after you've already broken in the handgun at the range. You have to be able to use it know how it works, carry it safely, loaded, ready to go with your extra ammunition in a good holster on you right now. If you do revolvers, go look at my revolver video, okay? I'll talk to you about the speed loaders, doing it fast, whatnot, but let's just keep this simple, basic for year of our Lord, foul year 2023. You're starting right this minute, you don't know what to do, okay? And this is going to be a long one, I'm sorry guys, if you don't want to watch this shit, I don't blame you, okay? This is just me unburdening myself here. Now, you're going to need a way to cook all your food, right? You can do it two ways. You can go get a cheapy stove and some propane cylinders, or you can do one of the camping stoves with wood and all that stuff. Anybody makes them. You don't have to go expensive. Just get something cheap, okay? You're going to want some kind of a shelter, okay? I tell people a poncho whoopee setup. Why? Because it's simple, and you're probably going to be on the run if you're using this, okay? Once again, this is bare minimum, life or death, 
I'm leaving right now or I'm staying right now. Shit happened. I don't know what to do. How am I going to do this? Okay, so bear with me here. Ah, fucking cigarette. That's been one of them days, folks. God, I miss real lucky strokes. So, we've established food, water, shelter, clothing, good knife. You need some cordage and rope, right? Uh, doesn't have to be complicated. 50 foot a pair of cord or 100 foot, it'll do you, whatever it comes in. The cheap shit, you don't need to buy expensive. Reason why is you might need to tie shit up, you might need to tie someone up, you might need to, it for rough sex. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do with this stuff. You might need it for a shelter. We just don't know. If you're going to be out in the woods, you probably need a saw. One of them folding camping saws will do just fine. Like one of them yard work saws, you know. It's Some of y'all in the comments will know better than what I'm talking about here. But like I said. So you got a way to make fires. You got a way to stay warm. You got a way to cook your food. Or eat it cold out the can like I do because I'm a savage. I prefer it that way after a bad experience. You're going to need some bedding, right? Wool blankets. Don't use cotton. Cotton is the death fabric, okay? Unless you live down south, then you can probably get away with this. Wool blankets are the way to go, okay? They're itchy. They're scratchy. You don't like them. I understand. Use an oversheet on your skin and then use the wool blanket, okay? Pro tip here from somebody who's been homeless more than once. So, what else do you need? Well, you need all of the things eventually, but you don't have to get overwhelmed. Like, let's say you're starting on a budget, right? This is what Pete was talking about in his live stream, okay? Five or ten bucks a week, which, I granted, doesn't buy you much today. Like, when you first start out, buy five pounds of beans, if you like beans, and buy five pounds of white rice, okay? Do white, don't do brown. Brown doesn't last forever. Now, if you like brown better and you're going to eat it, fine. Put that away in a box. Like, one week, you're like, hey, man, I got a case of ramen on sale, and this is my favorite flavor. Put that away for later. Fucking rant us interrupt us today, man. Jesus Christ. Everybody's coming through my side here. So, one week you go to the store, you're like, hey, man, I like these SpaghettiOs, and they're good cold. Well, you get ten cans of those, ten bucks, put it away. And you see it starts adding up, right? You get a case of bottled water on sale. The key takeaway here is do not listen to these motherfuckers. They're like, oh, my God, it's end times. The Bible's coming back right now. The Red Steers, don't listen to these fools, okay? I see it every day, motherfuckers. Listen to these people. They're stupid. They're dangerous, and they're crazy, okay? Now, if you have religious beliefs, you're not who I'm talking to. I'm talking to the motherfuckers that say, go max out your credit card right now. Don't do that, okay? It took me years to get to the level of unprepared that I am right now, and it saw me through a year of hard times, but this is the thing that not a lot of people are going to tell you. You cannot do this all on your own. You may think, well, I can do all this stuff. And you can survive a week on your own. But when you get to a month or two months or three months of what you need put back, right? I'd like to keep three months ahead because that's all I can afford. All right, here's the thing. You're going to need help. And you're going to need to talk to your friends, and you're like, hey, man, like, you know, you see all this weird shit going on. I'm like, yeah, dude, it's kind of scary. I'm like, you know, I've recently started putting back a little food and water, you know, in case the power gets cut off or in case the grocery stores close, like, during coop. I'm like, hey, that's a good idea. Great. You know, I should start doing that, too. These are probably people you want to talk to about these things. Now, don't put all your cards on the table. But the way I tell people to do it, basic food, basic water, self-defense, Tools you're going to need for the said survival, whether it's in or outdoors, you still need the knife because self-defense and, you know, food processing, etc. <clears throat> and then all the rest. Now, if you want to go into medical stuff, oh, God, it, it'd give me a fucking aneurysm to talk about that shit tonight. The important thing is, do not let this overwhelm you. You will get crazy, trust me. All of us have been there the last four or five years. I've been doing this for a while, okay? I've been doing this since the 90s, so this is nothing new to me. And you're going to learn the skills eventually, and you're going to learn how to do these things, and you'll be okay. But there are going to be a bunch of pretentious buttholes out there trying to sell you a bunch of fucking garbage that you do not need that is basically useless that are trying to snake oil you and carpet bag you out of your hard-earned dough. That is why I make this video, all right? 
you do not need a pile of this, that, and everything to be okay. You need the basics covered, and then you work from there, all right? So I hope this helps. This is probably the longest video I've ever did. And I've had to do it twice now, believe it or not, because my phone plugged up. And please, for anybody who watches and, like, gets to the end of this, leave some advice down in the comments for somebody who's just starting on day one in simple terms they can understand. Because I know I'm leaving stuff out, but, like, I literally cannot sit here and talk about this shit for two hours. Well, I can, but it'll make my fucking head hurt. And that's why I made you all blue. If you're blue, you know what to do. If you're snot, you're not. And speaking of snot, my nose is running, and uh, that's my cue. So, for all you snake oil salesman motherfuckers out there trying to fleece people in the comments section of a live stream and, and get them all riled up, shame on you, and you can eat my shorts.